Hey guys, what's up guys? You already know where you are. <laughs> There's no need for introductions. <laughs> yes, but I'll say it anyways, you know. Serious inner town. Alright, so I had a few comments on my last video. And, um, and then I noticed that after I responded to some of the comments, some of you guys went ahead and deleted the comment. Yo, listen, listen, I understand your comment and you want to delete your own comment and you can do whatever you want but when you come to my channel please if you're gonna leave a comment in the comment section below don't delete the comment there's no there's no um there's no proof of me uh, reading your stuff unless I, I I um either liked it or or especially when you want me to make a video about it don't delete the comment because if you delete the comment how am I supposed to make the video about it if I haven't read your stuff yet guys come on don't delete the comments comments are good I like to actually see that my videos are helping people you commenting shows that I'm doing my job it shows me that you're actually watching my stuff and it makes me feel good that you guys are willing to comment it shows that you guys are watching my stuff and you find it of interest alright now leaving that aside I wanted to talk about men and how we and how we all don't understand that like, I mean, let me say something. I was watching a video up there on my computer about TMZ and how this the this uh this black guy wanted to fight this uh this famous wrestler called uh, Chris Jericho, and how these two individuals were trying to engage in combat in a bar or in the middle of the street or whatever. And this reminds me a lot about the times when I had beef in school back in the day. It reminds me when people had beef and people try to fight things out. I want to say something here. Why is it that men can't understand that? Listen. Like, we all want to act like we're so tough, but how many of us are actually tough? See, he, he, you see, here's my problem. See, a lot of guys out here don't understand that there's certain men in this world you don't want to try. Alright? I don't give a fuck how tough you think you are. See? See, I don't you see, a lot of you guys are chicken shit. You're chumps. Alright, a lot of you guys can't fight without a weapon in your hand. You all need a freaking weapon. Drop the bullshit and drop the tough guy act. If you need a weapon to fight an adversary, you're most likely a weak piece of shit. All right, fight him like a man, and the other guy ha that has the weapon in his hand too, drop the weapon and fight him like a man. Why do you guys always need to resort into jumping somebody, ganging up on a motherfucker? Why don't you two drop the bullshit, put your paws up like a fucking man, and duke it out? Okay, fight him like a fucking man. No, 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 you know, no eye gouging, no hitting in the groin, none of that bullshit. Fight him like a man. I've had instances where I'm fighting somebody and the motherfucker realizes I, I'm out of his league and he runs away from me with his mans. They run in like bitches while I'm trying to chase them. Because he knows he lost. See, I hate shit like that. You're going to try to act like you're tough. You're going to want to act like you're all big and bad. Then when the time comes, you can't even take your loss like a man. See, you look worse running like, like a bitch with your tail between your legs than you do lose, getting knocked out and losing. See, because if you get knocked down and lose, you accepted the loss like a man. And that's it. Fight over. You may have lost, but nobody can call you a bitch. You fought like a man. And that's what matters. We have cowards nowadays that want to run away like bitches and then talk about that they want to fight and lie and run around. See, bitches like those, they're the weakest link. See, because you need people to see you as a champion. And you need you need to be verified as a champion through other people's eyes. When the other individual who was chasing after you is already a made champion, he beat you. You understand? And he don't need verification from nobody. He knows he won. See how sad that shit is. And what I'm saying is this: is that us as men, we need to understand you cannot be trying to pick a fight with just anybody. A lot of times that kid in the back of the room, in, cl in the classroom, he might be a psycho motherfucker. You fuck with him and you might end up dead or something. Why do you think these, uh, uh, why do you think a lot of these people be bringing weapons to school and all this sort of stuff and, 
and, and, and fighting and shit. In my old high school that I went to, some kid brought a gun and shot somebody in the freaking middle of the head in the hallway. Dude was bleeding out all over the fucking hallway. It was a goddamn fucked up horror episode, okay? Okay? Alright? It took a whole fucking episode of Seinfeld to fucking, yes, to fucking sweep up all that blood and get him out of here. To mop that shit up, you understand? I'm saying, instead of you bringing a gun, why didn't you just fight him like a man? See, because niggas out here are pussy. They're fucking pussy, man. Y'all pussies, man. The majority of the niggas that's walking around out here, a lot of y'all is chicken shit bird feed, man. A lot of you guys are bitch made. And now I'm not saying that all, every single guy out here is, is not tough shit. Of course there is. You know, but here's the thing, though. Too many guys are resorting to knives and guns and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I know that we're living in a day and age where nobody wants to get their hands dirty. Here's the thing, though. You see, okay, uh, okay, think about this. If everybody in uh, in, New York, in New York State or, or Pennsylvania or wherever else, or Virginia, whatever, everybody has a gun on them, there's going to be um, a very small amount of deaths. Why is that? Because everybody has a gun. And if you try to pull out your gun, everyone's going to pull out their gun on you because you're doing some fuck shit. So it's an equal amount of, if you got it, I got it too. And that's how it really should be. You, people shouldn't have that kind of advantage over somebody else. Because you know why? Because if you got a gun and everybody else don't, you could do some real fucking damage like that. You understand? And I'm saying, though, why Why is it that all these guys out here want to act so fucking tough? And when they get their ass beat, they shrivel up like a bitch. You can't even accept your loss like a man. If I lose a fight, bro, I'm going to accept the loss like a man. You won. You were the better man. That's it. It's squash. It's done. But these stupid idiots can't understand that. When you go, also oh, another thing. When you go to jail, everybody was trying to shank you. You know, they try to make a shank out of a fucking fork or anything. Why you guys gotta go through all that trouble? You wanna kill somebody? Kill them with your bare hands. See, this is this is this is the day and age where we're living in. This coward shit. This coward shit is killing me, man. It's really killing me, man. You guys act like fucking cowards, man. Y'all act like cowards. It makes me sick to my stomach, man. Fight like a man or don't fight at all. Shit. If you're going to have a shank, give your opponent a shank. But y'all niggas ain't going to do that because y'all don't have no self-respect. Y'all don't have no respect. Yeah, You don't have no respect for yourself. You don't have no respect for your opponent. Shit, and of course you're not going to give your opponent a weapon so he could kill you too, because that would just be dumb. But here's my thing. If we don't start doing it like that, eventually what we're, we're going to raise is a bunch of sissies that, that, sissies that can't, even, can't even fight with their own hands. Like, what kind of nonsense is that? You know? Sure, a lot of people carry a blade on them. Nobody wants to get into a physical altercation. But if you're going to get into a fight and you already know who this man is, I got a problem with you. Just duke it out like men. But you guys ain't going to do that. You guys are not going to do that. It makes me sick. The so-called tough guy, man. The so-called tough guy, man. You make me sick to my stomach, man. Because cause a lot of these guys out here, they, 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 when you go to a bar and stuff like that or anything like that, you know, you got guys out there that will try you, man. Like, why are you trying to try me? I'm not the guy that you should try. You know? And every guy out there wants to think and act like, oh, I ain't the guy that you should try at all, this and that. Dude, not all of y'all can be warriors. Not all of y'all can be a tough guy. Not all of y'all could be this motherfucker that whooped ass like it ain't shit. And that's why so many of y'all resort to knives, guns, and weapons, and all this ammunition, and all this other shit. Look at the UFC. You can only have one true champion in each division. So what does that tell you? Not all of y'all was made to be a champion. Some of y'all could come close, but that's it. And not, and also another thing I know is not most people don't even know how to fight. Most people just throw and swing their arms and just hope for the best. Like it really bothers me how a lot of people think that you know they can just swing their arm and then they're gonna get the win. You know, like it just it just really irritates me how how most guys out here think they're a tough guy. And I'm even seeing females now trying to fight with men. How stupid can you be? How stupid can you be? 
you want to go over there and try to act up. And, and you know what I've noticed? It's mostly black women that do shit like this. Hey, this is my observation. I don't care how y'all feel. Uh, they try to fight with you. They try to act like men. And they try to fight with you. Well, then when you knock a bitch out, like, and it could be any so-called ethnicity of women. You know, all ethnicities of women, for the most part, for the most part, do shit like this. But it's, you know, I, in my experience has been African-American females. They want to be like a dude. Then you knock a chick out. And you got videos on videos on videos of it on YouTube. You go, you knock a chick out. And you know, you had that one bitch on a bus. You know, she got knocked the fuck out. And she got thrown out of the bus. Like, I'm saying, though. Yo, not every argument is worth a battle. And, and, and not only that, you know, you knock this female out. And everybody wants to talk about, oh, she's a female. You wanted to fight a man. But then when the man knocks you the fuck out after, after you put your hands on him. Now, now it's not okay. Look, look, look. You get served. What's, what, 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 what you need to get served gets done. You understand? All right? All right? All right? Don't get mad at how he got how he served you after you just served him. You understand? Hey, man. This is a reality, man. And I'm just saying, guys, look. Not all of y'all is so tough like that. Okay? All right? Certain people... Don't understand this, but certain people are made to be in, 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 tough in, in, internally more than other people. Sure, we're all human and we can all be broken down if, if but enough pressure is applied. But not everybody's the same, okay? Some people were made to be fighters. Some weren't. Some people were made to build planes. Some people were made to do other things, okay? Not everyone can be a warrior. And not everybody can be a warrior king, a champion. Not everybody can be... A uh, pound for pound champion. Like I'm saying, I'm saying, think about it. Think about it. You all want to act fucking tough. I'm saying, really look and evaluate who you are first before you start picking fights. Seriously, because you might get knocked the fuck out, and that shit's not gonna feel good. <laughs> all right, I'm just being real, man. Oh, but you know, you know, oh, but I gotta stand up for myself. I understand that, buddy. I understand that. But like I'm saying though. Like, you guys have to know what you're capable of. You guys have to know who's out of your league and who's not. Because that's how you keep yourself alive. All right? Now, this is why a lot of people apply using weapons and all this stuff. Because they, don't, they may not have a choice. And I understand that. But I'm just saying, though. Like, two men that are about to fight like men. Why is it when you start getting your... One of y'all starts getting your ass whooped, y'all resort to a weapon. Come on, y'all already fighting like men. Come on, finish it like men. And stop fucking running, man. It's fucking pitiful, man. How you gonna run after you getting your ass kicked and you gonna keep fucking running? Like, I don't I don't know. Like, okay, if y'all gonna agree to fight in weapons, then and use your fucking weapons. But if you're gonna fight like two men, don't disrespect the fight. Be warriors and finish the fight. You guys are so fucking pussy out here, you can't even take a loss like a man. You know, it, it, yes, a loss is, is, is it hurts, man. It hurts deeply, but come on, there's got to be a winner and a loser, guys. Come on, man, play the game right or don't play at all. Uh, I mean, I, you know, this video, I, I'm making this video because it was a thought that was inside my head. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tell me what you guys think. And uh, yeah, goodbye, guys. I'll take care. Goodbye.